Hi all, Mantic Eye here. I hope you are having a great day or night as it may be. I am back with the second sneak peek of the September 2015 Clash of Clans update. And this is all about the uh, spell changes. So the first change is the poison spell. Which will have lower DPS in the beginning and increased DPS the longer the troop stays in the poison. So DPS means damage per second, so it basically means when the, first, the troop first enters the poison, it takes very little damage, but the longer it stays, the damage per second increases, so it will die faster. The second change to the poison spell is that the troop will still take damage for a short time after leaving the poison. So I guess the logic behind that is maybe that the troop is still sick, so it still takes a little bit of damage for a while after it has left the poison. Also, uh, another effect of the poison spell is that the defending uh, clan castle troops will have reduced attack rate while defending inside the poison. So that basically means that as long as you can keep the troops in the poison, the enemy troops in the poison, they will do less damage to you. So that's an interesting effect also. Uh, the second spell that is changed is the earthquake spell. So the changes is, the first spell will always do 25% damage to a building regardless of the building's current health. So if the building is on 25% or less health, it will die. If it's above that, it will always lose 25% of its health. Secondly, repeated earthquake spells will do less than 25% to the same building. So the first one does 25% damage of the building's uh, max uh, health. The next one will uh, do less. So I don't know how much less is. I guess it depends on earthquake spell level and so on and so forth. But less than 25. And they also mentioned that four earthquake spells will still destroy any wall. So no change to that. The forum exclusive preview was the free spell. It's not a dark spell, but still a spell. And it is that air troops can now be frozen which I guess is a nice and reasonable change. So what are the possible effects of these changes? And what did I see in the Supercell foot footage, which I of co uh, which unfortunately I didn't uh, have a copy of myself. It is only given to a few people. Firstly, heroes, they don't seem to be heavily affected by poison. So I think there's still no way to kill heroes just with poison spells. And that's probably a good thing. It would be kind of lame if you could just drop uh, some poison spells and the heroes died. So due to the poison spell changes, I think we will see a lot more diversity in the clan castle. Since, uh, firstly, stronger troops can now be killed by poison because if you can keep them in the poison, they take more and more damage. Secondly, since the troop only takes a little damage when it goes into the poison spell, if it leaves again fast, it will only take a little damage and even barbarians and archers might survive if they are there short enough time. So if you make a clan castle with a little of this and that, so maybe some barbarians, some archers, some goblins, some witches, some wizards, they will be spread out when they come out of the clan castle and they will uh, not stay in the poison spell unless you actually don't have any attacking troops left. S because they will always go towards your attacking troops if they can hit them. So I think they will have a bigger chance of survival and therefore more diversity in the clan castle, which is what people actually asked for. Uh, about the earthquake spell, you can uh, you cannot, as I said, take out buildings with only earthquakes because the, the diminishing damage per extra spell is is just not enough. However, you can take out buildings with a combination of other damage and earthquake. It could be that you cast uh, some lightning spell first and then an earthquake and kill a building or an earthquake first and then some lightning spell to kill a building. Or it might just be buildings that you already damaged uh, with uh, other means, troops attacking them. So I think while this is not a huge game changer, it is probably gonna be having an effect in some attacks. Now. That pretty much does it for the update. I just want to repeat that this is, according to Supercell, just a small update. The big update will come in ClassCon, which will be on October 24, this year. We, I have no idea what the big update actually is. Supercell just says it's a very big update. So your guess is as good as mine. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, chances are your friends or clanmates also will have enjoyed it. So please share the video with them. In the comment section below, please put any comments to, or any effects you think this update might have. Do you like it? Do you, don't you like it? Which, whichever one it might be. And I will try to answer as much as I can. Thank you for watching and Mandaga out. Hi YouTube! I hope you like my daddy's video. Subscribe! <laughs>